going over creating a layer mask in Photoshop. Now, to give you a brief kind of understanding of where we might want to use this, under the image menu here, we have uh, various adjustments that we can make. So levels, uh, exposure, hue saturation, all these types of things. You would call these or refer to them as a destructive change. So if I was to adjust the levels as an example, here's the levels dialog. Okay, we adjust the levels. You can see, of course, as it happens, I would like to lighten this photo up a little bit. It's kind of dark. So I'm gonna drag the light levels in. Maybe we'll do a small adjustment here. There we go. So once we have the adjustment we want, if I hit OK, this is considered a destructive change. If you look at my layers, that has been applied to the entire graphic and it's changed the pixels. So I'm just gonna undo that. Now instead of it doing instead of doing this that way, what we can use is we can use something called layer masks or layer adjustments. So if I go to the layer menu and I go new adjustment layer, you'll notice I have a lot of the similar options that we saw in that previous menu. So as an example, I'm gonna do levels again this time. We have to give it a name in this case. I'm just gonna call it levels one. And what happens is over my layers panel actually creates a, a new layer for levels. And I can make that same adjustment that I made from before. So it applies the same way to the graphic. I can make whatever other adjustments I'd want. When you're done making your adjustments, you can actually just click this properties button and it moves that panel away. If I click the properties button again, it just pops it back up. So I can make adjustments to these levels whenever I'd want. And here's the beauty of this. It's actually applied it uh, as a layer so that I can hide it. You see the adjustment goes away or I can show it and the adjustment comes back. So this is a non-destructive change. It's a dynamic change and I can modify it and, and apply it where I want and remove it where I'd want. Now, we made that adjustment through the layer menu. You can also use the adjustments panel. This is a much faster way to do it. As an example, let's just say I wanted to adjust the brightness contrast as, as a layer adjustment. Well, if I just click the um, um, brightness contrast button, it adds a layer for brightness contrast. I can change the brightness contrast of the photo to whatever we'd want. Once I have it set the way I like, I can simply click that same properties button and it removes it. You'll notice this properties button is now set to brightness contrast. If I wanted to switch it to the other one, I can simply click it in my layers panel here. So you can see that I can actually adjust whatever properties I'm looking at for whatever layer mask I have selected down on the side. Now I'm gonna put a little tile for it up in the top, a little card, uh, to link to another video that I've done where we talk about um, applying this mask but only to certain parts of your images if you didn't want to apply the mask to the entire image just only a part of the image well we can do that too with these adjustment layers so be sure to check out that video hopefully this has given you a basic understanding of how to use uh, adjustment layers rather than using those destructive changes under image and adjustments